it's no longer your, your brother's pot brownies. Now edibles come in all forms, sodas, candies. I couldn't really move my limbs. Cookies, cake, juice, ice cream, cereal. I couldn't really operate or function. Pastas, soups. I was pretty much just laying there, uh, lifeless and nauseous. I was um, in school and my friends, they were like, oh, do you want a brownie? And I was like, nah, I'm straight. The green rush here in Colorado is about to get even bigger. This week, state licenses went out to local businesses, giving them the green light to start selling recreational marijuana. I think the legalization of marijuana movement has been harmful for young people because of the misinformation that, that is being presented. We're giving a false message to young people and adults that marijuana is benign, you know, that it's just a natural plant, that it's like actually good for you. For a hundred years, the tobacco industry preyed on essentially eighth and ninth graders for their business model, okay? They needed eighth, ninth, and tenth graders to get rich because those were their future customers. Today, marijuana is doing the same thing. We have big marijuana, just like we had big tobacco, and it's growing every day. A lot of the the marijuana that, you know, the past generations were smoking was maybe 5, 10% THC. And then now we have things like hash oil and the hash oil edibles where people are not taking in 10 milligrams of THC, they're taking in 200 milligrams of THC. My friend had bought one and she ate half of it and she was sitting in class extremely high and I didn't realize it until like 20 minutes into the period. Marijuana is a very complex plant. There are hundreds of components in it, but one of the components acts on different cells in your brain and body and makes you feel high. That one component is called THC. So a cannabinoid is either a naturally occurring substance that the body makes to help regulate all of the body systems, but particularly mood, appetite, a couple other uh, wake and sleep cycles, or you can put a cannabinoid into your body through any of the marijuana products. Both smoking and eating pot are both bad for you, but they're very different. Um, when you smoke something, it hits the brain really fast. So if you smoke marijuana, and I'm certainly not advocating smoking marijuana, but you immediately, the user immediately feels a high in less than 20 seconds. When you're puffing on a joint, it's sort of like dosing yourself um, puff by puff. So, you know, the, the marijuana enters your lungs and then your bloodstream and into your brain very quickly. With edible marijuana, uh, because of the process that it takes, it goes through your stomach, gets absorbed, and uh, ultimately then has to pass through your liver where all toxins go. One of the breakdown products of, of THC when you ingest it is uh, believed to be even more intense in terms of the effects than, um, than the initial THC that you're consuming. Um, oftentimes people assume that the inhaled version must be the most potent because it goes right to your brain, but, uh, but not in this case. I don't think edible marijuana would be like unhealthy, but I don't think it would be healthy either. There was the perception that it, that it would be more healthy because it didn't involve inhaling smoke. Also, you know, a lot of people smoke marijuana from cigar papers or tobacco leaves. Um, which of course is not really the best thing for you. My first experience with edibles actually wasn't too long ago, and it was from my own doing. It was a decision I made. I wanted to bake my boyfriend um, an edible birthday cake, and I had no idea what I was doing. 